हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑन बायोफार्मास्युटिकल्स आय एम ऋतुपर्ण करकरे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नॉलॉजी इंजिनिअरिंग के आय टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग कोल्हापूर वी आर लर्निंग युनिट नंबर वन सो लेट अस प्रोसीड विथ लेसन नंबर सिक्स दॅट इज ड्रग मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग ओव्हरव्ह्यू विथ रेफरन्स टू द प्रिवियस क्लास ऑन ड्रग डिस्कवरी अँड डेव्हलपमेंट वी हॅव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द डेव्हलपमेंटल सायकल ऑफ एनी ड्रग मोलिक्युल there is a concept called as a biosimilarity assessment where whenever any new drug is developed the analytical studies that is the initial characterization is done then animal studies that is non clinical or pre clinical studies are performed and then the clinical studies on humans are also performed so considering all these steps the company which is producing a biosimilar molecule has to give a totality of evidence that the molecule is really a biosimilar to the main innovator so considering these all steps of the drug development cycle we see that once the entire process of drug discovery preclinical and clinical trials with the drug candidate and then the successful submission of all the data to the controlling authority is done then the next step is to seek for the manufacturing and marketing license now talking about the manufacturing skills we can see that for r and d preclinical and clinical trials of the drug the manufacturing is to be done but that manufacturing is only done up to few grams of the manufacturing skill but when it comes to the commercialization selling of the drug to the market large population we need to produce the drug in kgs and that needs the manufacturing license now when we talk about the drug discovery and development approach it only considers the product safety aspects that is whether the drug is safe to human or not even if a drug candidate is safe to be used in humans its quality is to be inspected through manufacturing process safety and quality drug manufacturing license can only be obtained after ensuring that the process is highly regulated and rigorously controlled now let us understand what is the meaning of or why some process is regulated and controlled it means that the design and layout of the manufacturing facility the raw materials utilized in the manufacturing process the manufacturing process itself all these things are to be regulated and controlled it also includes the training and commitment of the personnel involved in all the aspects of manufacturing operations and finally we can say that the existence of regulatory framework which assures the establishment and maintenance of the highest quality standards with regard to all the aspects of manufacturing so all these guidelines are given by the respective country authority and these guidelines are called as cgmp that is current good manufacturing practices these guidelines are given for different type of products like medicinal products radio pharmaceuticals medicinal gases herbal medicinal products creams ointments etc these cgmp guidelines as you can see in this diagram the quality management personnel documentation practices quality control production self inspection all these guidelines are covered now when we talk about the biopharmaceutical manufacturing we need to consider the three segments segment number 1 is the appropriate manufacturing facility <clears throat> that is infrastructure where we need to see the exact protocols for entry and exit of raw materials so it includes host cells media components water etc personnel who are handling the process inside the premises and the finished products the second segment is the routine maintenance of all the process equipments and analytical instruments used in the upstream and downstream operations of biopharmaceuticals and the third very very important is 
the real time documentation because the audit will be there by the quality people and there will be the documentation inspection. Now let us consider all these three segments one by one in brief. When we talk about the biopharmaceutical manufacturing facility, the overall facility is a very content environment as we are dealing with the handling of recombinant biological agents. You can see this particular figure here which is a layout given for any general manufacturing facility for biopharmaceuticals. The right side is mentioned as a clean room and the left hand side corridors are mentioned as the different segments. So, we need to classify the manufacturing facility as a critical and non-critical areas. The non-critical areas are the outside areas or corridors and the critical areas are the inside clean rooms. So, clean rooms are very contained rooms where the number of particle per unit volume of air is controlled. The second segment talks about the routine cleaning and disinfection processes. So, the surface cleaning and disinfection of the inside rooms, the autoclaving or sterilization protocols, the cleaning in place CIP for all the equipments and whichever the equipments are where water is going to be used, the processing of the same water for various purposes. So, generally we use purified water and water for injection for all these processes. So, routine cleaning and disinfection protocols are very important to maintain and sustain the manufacturing facility. The third point is the documentation. Now, first question comes to our mind is why to document? So, there are three principal reasons. Documentation helps prevent errors associated with the verbal communications. Documentation facilitates the tracing of the manufacturing history of any batch of the product at any point of time. And documentation also ensures the reproducibility in all aspects of the pharmaceutical manufacture. Then question comes what to document. So, there are four segments. First is all the standard operating protocols or standard operating procedures SOPs. Then all the specifications led by the authority and the results which are obtained in the manufacturing process. Batch manufacturing, processing and packaging records are also to be documented. And lastly, the important point is the quality control results. So, all these four segments are going to be documented and kept for the audit. So, here is a reflection spot for you. Describe the clean room types as per the specifications led by the GMP guidelines of any particular country. So, with this we cover the overview of manufacturing facility and this is the end of our lesson number 6 and this is also the end of our unit number 1 of the course biopharmaceuticals that is drug discovery, development and manufacturing. I hope you have understood all the concepts and enjoyed learning. Thank you.